Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading. Wanted to show you what we've been doing this Saturday, harvesting our vegetables and doing some canning. You can see Paula's been doing some canning with the tomatoes. Did a big harvest on those today. All of our large ones in our carry canner. There's Paula, she's over there putting the lids on and canning up some more uh, tomatoes, roasted tomatoes. Here's our gojis that I just went and harvested outside for the rain. Here's the Puna Kiras. We're going to try these for a snack this afternoon. This is what they look like when they have their golden color. Got a kind of a hard shell on them. So we're going to probably have to peel these. And then uh, we're going to try testing out and see if the uh, stories are correct that these have more flavor once they get this brown color. Here's this weekend's harvest of beans. We're going to have those with dinner. Here's some more of the uh, pink boar. We keep those for slicing and put on our salads. There's a couple of Brandy wines picked today. Let's see, let's go out here. I'll show you guys the. These are all the little Matt's Wild tomatoes. So we got a whole bucket full. And we're going to probably just take these and uh, pick off the stems and then crush them down and maybe make some uh, tomato juice. Haven't decided yet. Or maybe we're going to dehydrate all those. I think Paula said we're going to dehydrate those. Right, let's go down here. I want to show you guys how many apples we got off of our Liberty apple tree. I always get excited when I get to see how many apples I get off the Liberty apple tree because that's the most productive one we have here on the homestead right now. So here's the apples. We ended up getting uh, about 120 and then uh, the reason I harvest these is because uh, this weekend I harvested them is because I found about 10 of them on the ground and the slugs have destroyed them. So I went ahead and just picked all of them and so we're going to take these and tomorrow we're probably going to make uh, applesauce. That will be our Sunday activity. And then uh, remember the bags of potatoes? I was pointing out and thought I was going to have so many potatoes coming out of them. That's all I got. I was pretty pretty disappointed because you know I was expecting you know oh we're going to have 20 pounds of potatoes and we didn't end up getting that much. And then uh, here's just our weekend harvest of uh, zucchini. I found a big big old zucchini here that uh, or our weekend harvest of squash. But the zucchini. I found it hidden behind the garden box, hanging down on the side by one of our shrubs. So uh, we're gonna end up probably making this one into like a you know, zucchini bread. And then these are just our yellow squash. And uh, that's just some of the things we've been uh, been doing here on the homestead. I did have to spray the, uh, the cabbage because I noticed that there was a bunch of aphids, aphids back on this, back in here. So I went ahead and mixed up some of my uh, neem oil and my uh, insecticidal soap and I sprayed down all the cabbage all the broccoli and so hopefully that's going to take care of that issue and I also sprayed a little bit of that on the uh, the chard here just to get rid of any of the downy mildew that was starting to show up because I want to keep that as clean as I can and then we'll end up we'll have to you know we wash this anyway when we take it in the house so we wash off that neem oil and neem oil is you know okay to eat but I like to wash all that stuff off since it's a natural uh, you know pest deterrent as well as the insecticidal soap, you know, it's just soap. And then, uh, you know, the cabbage over here looks really nice. But I'll do more of an update on that when I do the videos this weekend. I just thought I'd show you what we've been doing this uh, Saturday afternoon out here before it starts to rain. You can, I'll give you a little shot of the yard before we sign this video off. Yeah, mole trap. Mole trap, mole trap, mole trap. Had to put it out because uh, a little friend's been coming down here and tearing up our uh, stone patio everywhere we have our clover. It's been going through and making hills again. So it's time to eliminate the pest because I like to have my patio as my area. And if moles want to dig around anywhere out there, they're fine. As soon as they come into my territory, they got to go. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll talk to you again. Bye.